It's the heart of a Muslim through the guidance of his sin And they make you fair and kind and helpful to your fellow men Not being able to provide for his own family But rather carrying the whole entire ummah on his back The Sahaba were human beings, they were not mutants they were not, you know, some mar something out of a Marvel comic book. They were human beings and they had human feelings. And these are the type of moments that we should look at and truly reflect on. When Allah Azza says in the Quran, بَعْدَ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانُ الرَّجِيمِ مَنْ ذَا الَّذِي يُقْرِضُ اللَّهَ قَرْضًا حَسَنًا فَيُضَاعِفَهُ لَهُ وَلَهُ أَجْرٌ كَرِيمٌ who is the one who will loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a beautiful loan and for him is a great reward. So living as a Muslim means that you must play a part. Allah looks not at how you look, but what is in your heart. We all know the story. Abu Dahda radiallahu anhu hears this and he says, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I have 600 palm trees. I'm donating them all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We all know this story, but how must it have felt when he goes home and he sees his children eating from the dates of those palm trees and his wife picking them for his children? And now he has to tell his wife that this does not belong to us anymore. And he has to tell his wife that this belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now. How tough would that have been? And how tough was it for his righteous wife, Umm Dahda radiallahu ta'ala anha, when she takes the hands of her children and she starts knocking the dates out of their hands? Imagine that feeling. And when you look at those feelings, dear brothers and sisters, don't think that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam struggled any less than that. So living as a Muslim means that you must play a part. Allah looks not at how you look, but what is this in your heart?